Hey guys, this is Randy from Rand's Graphics After Effects Tutorial. Before going to our main tutorial, please consider subscribing, like and click the notification bell for any updates on my videos. If you have comments, just write it down below. And today, I'm going to be showing you how to do these floating photos. I will start by importing first the assets that I'm going to be using in this project. Click File, Import. I'm going to be using this folder and then Import folder. And then I will create a new composition and I will name it Main One. Nineteen twenty by ten eighty p, thirty frames per second. The resolution is full and the duration is ten seconds. Background is black. Okay. Another composition, and I will name it main image one. The same settings with the first composition that we made click ok another composition and I will name it placeholder one and this time I will just change the height to 1500 pixels and the rest are the same settings in here and I will click ok and then grab the shape tool and double click it so make sure that the fill is none and only the stroke is enabled and the size of the pixel is 70 pixels color is off white or white it's up to you guys what color do you want create another folder and I will name it scene 1 and I will highlight it again and I will duplicate it and then highlight these compositions drag it down to the scene 1 folder and then highlight the placeholder one control D to duplicate it four times and then I will highlight the placeholders double click it open the image drag the image to your placeholders open main image one and right click your mouse and make it fit to comp the placeholder to I will press S on my keyboard and I will resize it for about 60% and then move downwards and on the side so that it will be almost centered click the placeholder to click S to resize it again I will do it 60% only and drag the down a bit and move it on this right side corner so it will be almost centered i will click the placeholder tree but i will speed it up guys so that you don't have to wait
So now we are done placing all our images to the corresponding placeholders. I will open the main. This is the main one. And I will drag down these placeholders to my timeline and make it 3D layers. Then press S and I will resize it to about 50%. If you will not see these modes, you just toggle switches in here and then highlight it all and I will close it. I will highlight the main image and drag it down just below the placeholder 3, make it 3D layer 2 and then I will change this to about that color green so that it's easier for me to see the main image and then I will press S to rescale it 70% and then close it. I will add camera. I will only use 50mm preset camera, click OK. And I will also add another layer which is the null layer. And I will make it also a 3D layer. I will make all these placeholders change the rotation. I will highlight all the placeholders and press R. And I will change the orientations of these images. I will highlight all the placeholders and press R and Shift P. Change the orientations of these images randomly. And then place the image on that side and move it in the Z position and highlight the placeholder too change the orientation randomly and I will place it on this side here move it back away from the camera for about more than 2000 Again, I will skip it guys so that you don't have to wait. After placing all the images around the main image, this is now what it looked like. Next, what I will do is to go to layer, make a new null object, then place it over the camera. And I will name it rotation. And I will highlight these placeholders and I will parent it to the rotation. Same placeholder 4 and 5. And I will make this rotation or null object 3D layer. I will create a keyframe and go to 6. And then I will change the orientations of these images.
now i will create another new layer which is null object and i will put it down the rotation rename it camera control or cc and i will also make it a 3d layer i will parent the camera one in here and open the position i will make a keyframe on the start and move it away from the camera for about negative 5000 i will also move it upwards until such time that it will not already seen by the camera click p on your keyboard for the position go to one second and make a keyframe go back to start and make the z value to negative 5000 and then adjust the x upwards until such time that the image is gone go to five seconds create a keyframe go to six seconds and move the x position again upward and then highlight all the keyframes and press f9 to easy is it and then open the speed graph and make your speed graph like this and then close your speed graph and you'll see that this is now what it looks like we're gonna have to drop down the footage that we will use as our background i will make this one a 3d layer and then press p for the position and i will make it far from the camera and then i will press again the scale to scale it up and then i will drop down these particles put it on top move the layer forward a bit toggle the switches make it add and i will also drop down this another particle here i will make this particle add to disable the 3d layer for your background we will play it nice so we are now done with our animation on the first scene so we will go now for the scene 2 copy all the compositions in scene 1 by duplicating it and those compositions that are duplicated drag it down to the scene 2 folder and then double click it to open it up go to main image 2 and then open the image here in your project file and then replace this image in here by click and hold alt and drag the image 1 in the image 2 and then open the placeholder 6 and then highlight this one to replace the image I will speed it up so that you don't have to wait
and again I will close this one close this scene one too and then highlight the placeholder one and then drag this while holding the alt key I will highlight this placeholder too and then drag it down highlight the placeholder tree and drag it down while holding the alt key the main image one replace it with the main image too then i will highlight the four and i will drag this placeholder nine replace the placeholder four and then i will highlight again the placeholder five and drag down my placeholder 10 so now the images are all replaced in the placeholders so we will try to look at it here see so now i will just click the camera control press u we'll go back to here and then delete this start key and the last key that we made and then go back my playhead to the start again make this z position to a negative 5000 and then i will also change the x position until the images are gone and move forward to about six seconds and create a keyframe by moving this to the left side until the images are gone when we play this one the main one I will create a text floating photo I use CP punk rock show font but you can use whatever you want if you want another font that makes you satisfied so I have to center this one and change the color I think I want the color for this one like grayish now I will create a composition new composition and I will call it final click OK and I will drag down the main two and the main one and then go to about six and then split it and then delete the split layer and open bracket key to move this main two but first we will highlight the main two layer first and then press the open bracket key so now when we play this one nice eh? so our tutorial is done i hope you guys enjoy it see you on my next video and thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe like and press the notification bell or even comment down below if you want to so god bless and thank you guys